So my name is Brendan Chapman. I'm a senior lecturer in forensic science here at Murdoch University. Um, I studied molecular biology actually here at Murdoch a number of years ago. Uh, and since then kind of found my way into forensic science, uh, working in both uh, state policing and laboratory environments here before I came to Murdoch. The benefit of having this uh, experience in, in actual industry means that I can bring those contemporary and practical skills to the university and, and train our students in the techniques and the methods that are, are used in, in real environments. So a Bachelor of Science degree is a three-year course. Our students are able to choose multiple majors as part of that degree. So our forensic biology and toxicology students can double major with other science disciplines like biomedical science or clinical laboratory science to really give themselves some diversity as to the education that they're getting to increase their opportunity in the workforce. I think it's great that students can graduate with multiple majors to their degree because what it means is they're not locking themselves into any niche sort of field um, and it's really opening up their opportunities for multiple opportunities in the workforce. Murdoch's a, a fantastic campus, you're surrounded by nature um, but on top of that, we also have some fantastic facilities around science. We've got some really innovative laboratory spaces and we've got the benefit of having the vet farm here as well, which really enables our sciences to blend with both human and animal science. And also from a forensic perspective, gives us access to some really large natural spaces that we can use for recreating crime scenes. We also have the Whitby Falls Farm, which is only about 40 minutes away from Murdoch, which is a huge outdoor natural environment, which is ideal for us utilising it for uh, crime scenes and um, homicide investigations, as well as obviously its uses for the vet and animal science courses here. It's really important to have these facilities because realistically our students, when they get out into the workforce, WA is such an expansive place, they're bound to need to attend a crime scene or an investigation in a rural environment. And we've got that only 40 minutes from the door here. So over their three year bachelor journey here at Murdoch, the students will get all of the core science learning and understanding that they require, as well as a number of boutique forensic units that apply those sciences, such as blood pattern analysis, uh, forensic toxicology, forensic DNA analysis, and forensic fingerprinting. Our graduates can find themselves in a number of employment situations after leaving Murdoch. Some go on to become crime scene investigators throughout various states of Australia and, and overseas as well. A number of them end up in either forensic or other genetic or molecular diagnostic type laboratories. And there's a large development in the digital forensics and national security forensics areas at the moment as well, which we're finding some of our graduates ending up in as well. So we really want our future students in high school to be studying the STEM subjects. So particularly for forensics, we, we look at students that have studied biology or human biology um, or uh, maths and chemistry, physics. All of these are really valuable tools for coming into university. When I was in high school, I really wish I had have known that once you're into a university, your options for changing courses or for realigning the, the studies that you do are really, really simple. And it's not just one decision that's going to be stuck with you for the rest of your life. Our future students could be changing the world by solving the next homicide, catching the next serial killer, or intercepting the next terrorist threat, um, either through their research findings at Murdoch or through their employment and actually being the person that solves the case. My advice for anyone considering a career in science is stick with your passion. If you really, really want to do it, make it happen. You, you'll be able to do it.